Today, trend unemployment ends 2019 at 5.1%. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to the latest post covering finance and problem news with a distinctively Australian flavour. Australia's trend unemployment rate decreased to 5.1% in December 2019, according to the latest information released by the Australian Bureau of Statistics today. This may be enough to say the RBA's hand in February as the headline rate fell and the jobs hours worked rose although there was a disproportionate shift towards part-time work and the underutilisation rate is also higher. In fact, the fall can be best linked to a falling participation rate as more chose not to work over the summer. In December 2019, the trend monthly employment increased by around 18,000 people. Both full-time and part-time employment increased by around 9,000 people. And over the past year, trend employment increased by around 261,000 people, or 2.1%, which continues to be above the average annual growth rate over the last 20 years at 2%. But while jobs growth does continue, there is really nothing here to support signs of a stronger economy given the high levels of migration. Full-time employment growth was 1.5%, and that's below the average annual growth over the past 20 years at 1.6%. And part-time employment growth was at 3.2%, which was well above the average annual growth rate over the past 20 years of 3%. In fact, while there has been stronger growth in part-time employment over the past year, the underemployment rate is still where it was last December at 8.3%. The trend monthly hours worked increased by 0.2% in December and by 1.7% over the past year. And this was in line with the 20-year average of 1.7%. The trend monthly underemployment rate remained steady at 8.3% in December and that's unchanged over the past year. And the trend monthly underutilisation rate also remained steady at 13.5% in December 2019, and that's an increase of 0.2 percentage points over the past year. Underutilisation rates among the 15 to 25 year olds is above 25%, and we continue to see younger people experiencing disproportionately high levels of underemployment. This aspect of the employment market concerns me greatly. Across the states, the largest increase in employment was in New South Wales up 20,000 and Victoria up 10,000. The only significant decline was in Western Australia down 5,000. Even with the robust rise in employment, unemployment in Victoria lifted 0.3% to 4.9% as there was a solid 0.3% rise in participation to 66.6%. The unemployment rate fell in all the other states with the largest falls in Queensland down 0.6% to 5.7% and Tasmania down 0.5% to 5.5%. Unemployment fell 0.1% to 4.5% in New South Wales and the participation rose there 0.2% to 65.5% and it fell 0.6 percentage points in Queensland to 65.6% and down 0.5% in Western Australia to 67.7%. Over the year, unemployment rates fell in Queensland, Western Australia, Tasmania and the Australian Capital Territories. And they rose in the more populous states. Unemployment rates increased in all other states and the Northern Territory. In conclusion, while rate cuts along with the government's tax offset payments should help to support demand, it's unlikely to be sufficient to get economic growth moving back towards trend or above in 2020. The leading indicators of employment point to a near-term softening in labour growth. So the labour market is likely to weaken from here, resulting in a modest gradual rise in unemployment and underemployment. Even with the recent strength in employment, the Australian labour market has a long way to go to get 
towards the RBA's target of 4.5%. And remember that the Roy Morgan method of reporting employment data for December is also showing a rise, with the total of unemployment and underemployment up to 18.6%, and with unemployment sitting at 8.7%. Now that's given their tighter definition of being employed, but to my mind, this is probably a better reflection of the true state of affairs. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.